Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. I have a question for you. What is a chart? Some people call them graphs, or depending where you live in the world, you might call them a graph. However, wherever you live, a chart is simply a visual representation of the trend in data. So I see here, for example, in the chart called before, that I have a bar chart, a simple clustered column chart, as it's technically known, which will show me the data in visual form that I see here in this particular set of data. Now that's all well and good except that where I have numbers uh, in, in uh, columns which are markedly different, for example I have a number of shares here, 18,000 in this particular share, worth 2,900. So there is some discrepancy between the size of the numbers. To make the chart easier to read, I can create what is called a secondary axis. And I can see this secondary axis over here. For example, in the first chart, I see that there are, of the uh, ABC shares, there are 10,000 shares and they're worth $5,000. And I can see that uh, across by referring to the left vertical axis. But when the numbers are, are very, very different, uh, for example, if the worth of the shares was a good deal less, then this bar may be well down here and it would make it difficult to read what the actual value of the shares was. So I'm going to show you how to create a secondary axis, which will show you, for example, the... Um, worth of the shares here, 5,000 for ABC, and over on the right-hand side, there are 10,000 shares. So it makes the the chart that much easier to read. So how did I do this? Well, let's go to the procedure. And here I see that I'll take these two ticks out first, uh, because as we perform each action, we will. Uh, proceed and tick each of the elements that we uh, used in preparing our secondary axis chart. First of all we're going to create the basic chart. So we'll tick that and we'll drag through the information we want charted. Then we will insert a recommended chart for example and we'll say a clustered column good one to start with, we'll drag that and put it down here somewhere and there is our chart. It's only got the one axis on the left hand side here so it can be a little difficult to read the actual values that we want to see. Now the next step is to select the series by clicking on a bar in the chart. The bars are called the series and there are two of them, series 1 and series 2. We're going to click on this one and you'll notice that as I click on that particular series that the other uh, series 1 bars become selected. They have the little dots above them. Now, with the chart selected, we can see that there is there are two more uh, tabs up the top here. I want to click on the Format tab there, making sure that the chart is selected and then I'm going to click on the format pane where I see a dot needs to be placed in secondary axis. So we'll place it there and I see that my chart starts to look different. We'll close the format uh, data series. So we'll perform those two actions or that, that particular action. Now we'll choose chart design and we're going to change the chart type and I want to change to a line type and I'll click on the line type here and there I see that the secondary axis has been created and the uh, series is still showing down the bottom here series 1 and series 2 so we'll put a tick in there and a tick in there now we can click beneath the chart 
and I want to delete those for the sake of presentation put a tick there now we can click on the chart and select it again and choose chart design again and we want to choose add chart element right over here on the left and now I'm going to choose axis titles primary vertical so there I see the axis title there and we're going to change that axis title by clicking in it and deleting up one and delete and we're going to make this uh, called worth so that's the worth of the shares so so far so good now I'm going to repeat the previous actions I'm going to click on the chart to make sure it's selected and I'm going to choose uh, add chart element and this time in the axis titles I'm going to select the secondary vertical that puts a title over here and again I'm going to click in there and delete the text that's in there there we go and I'm going to call this number of shares don't press enter at this stage simply click away because if you press enter you'll you'll force that title further over to the left which we don't want so there we've done those actions we can put a tick in all of them and you'll notice my little note down the bottom here axis titles can be recolored for identification purposes if you wish bolded etc so let's do that I'm going to click on this particular one uh, I'll hold down my command key on the Apple or the shift key on the Mac and I'm going to uh, simply make that color the same color as the as the bar and the way I do that is to click on the format the format pane button and the text options here and let's click on the text outline button uh, my apologies the text fill button sorry about that and here I see color and I'll make it uh, the same color there so that that becomes thus now we'll click on the number of shares and we'll change those to a blue color that one there to match the line while I'm there I can go to the home tab and I'll choose bold and again for the worth I'll choose bold click away and that is how we create a secondary axis where the numbers are greatly different here is a good example for the VGA there's 18,000 shares but they're only worth 2,900 now let's go to a little bonus as it were table trickery what I'm going to do is to click somewhere in the data and I'm going to insert a table the beauty about inserting a table my table has headers okay the beauty about inserting a table quite simply is this that I can add information to the data so we'll say our next share is uh, GBH and we have uh, we'll say 20,000 of them and the worth we'll say is uh, in this case uh, let's say 25,000 let's see what happens when I press enter you'll notice that the charts have been automatically updated so there's a uh, little bonus trick if you want to automatically update the chart uh, simply create a, a table within the data itself thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we'd love to have any comments or likes that you might care to make uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.